Mick has been at Fumplatz Treatment Center in Oslo for three weeks. He is now coming fully to terms with his caffeine addiction. But if the group was gentle with him in the first few sessions, they are now really letting him have it. Tell us something you achieved when you were using. Um, I don't know. Uh, we had a band, um, Streaker. <laughs> Maybe you've heard of them. Yeah, Mick, you played me one of your albums a couple of days ago, and I have to say it was appalling. It was very bad music. Thank you, man. Thank you for being so honest. It was just one of the worst things I've ever heard. <laughs> Completely unoriginal. You know, you seem to be stuck in some permanent 80s Euro rock cliche. I, I, I think what Askir is trying to say is, is that when you accept your addiction, that your music can then move on. Isn't that right, Askir? <laughs> Though... Some of those songs really are very bad. <laughs> I was just like this kind of um, crazy, very, very hyper alert kind of guy. And, um, you know, my head was like in a real bad space. It had gotten to the stage when I was drinking, say, like 14, 15 cups of coffee a day. It was, uh, you know, I... I was in that kind of place where I would wake up in the morning and the first thing I would do is have a cup of coffee. <laughs> Sometimes I feel the summer enormous fairy watching over me. If I stoop to kiss those dark roasted demons, she dries my lips at night. To get it all straight in my mind But I'm high White by the beam One day at a time Just had this thought. I was running something in this. I always wanted to do a sketch set in one of those craft museum places. Great. Listen, that's that's really kind of you. I'll I'll um, give it to the producer, obviously, and um, we'll take it from there. Brilliant. Okay. See you at the bar then. Yeah. I'll probably be in the performance bar, but um, yeah. <laughs> Stuart, yeah, he's just left. Yes, I think he might be drunk, because he's talking quite incoherently. <laughs>